To help students organise their research, we've got a tool called Noodle Tools, which has been organised by our friends over in the Media Literacy Centre. Uh, but for some reason, if you don't want to use it, then there is an alternative involving Google Keep and Google Docs. So I'm going to take you through some of the stuff that you might be able to do using those tools. So I'm going to be using the Google Keep app, the extension for Google Keep, a Google Doc, and I'm just going to use one website for my research just to provide an example of what's possible. What you'll need to do to make all of this work is to make sure you've got the extension for Google Keep installed. So you can find it here in the Chrome Web Store and it will look like a bit of a light bulb on your extension toolbar. Remembering that if it doesn't show up there, you can find it in the list and you can pin it. So it always shows there. Over on my website that I want to use to get my information from, what I can do is, let's say I've found a section of text that I want to take a note about. Now, there's two things I can do here. First of all, I need to click on the extension here. It keeps a note of the website that you're on, and you can just start taking your notes. And you can add titles to organize what you're doing and then take a note. But the other really cool thing that you can do is you can simply come across and highlight the text. So when you come back and check that note, you can see that the text has already been put there. Now, what you will need to do is to organize your notes in Google Keep and into categories, they call it labels. So you'll need to give it the, the note a label. So I can add a label. Now I can use any that I've already got. If there's nothing that I've already done, I'm doing it for the first time, I can simply create one like that. And so now that note is, is tagged and then I can come down and I can sort of highlight the next piece of text like that as well. So we can see that it's been added there and tag it as eSports. So all of those notes uh, are showing up under there. So that's one way you can sort of gather the notes. Then over in Google Docs, there's a couple of things you can do here. The bar on the side, you can click the Google Keep one there, and then you've got all the text that you've gathered uh, from your note. And you can simply just drag and drop that across onto your Google Doc. It gives you the URL and the text that, or the notes that you took from that website. And then you can come through and you can edit it uh, as you need to. Over in Google Keep, you'll see that it's appeared over here and I can sort of, it's kept a record of that note in case I want to use it somewhere else. Um, in Google Docs, if you have lots and lots of notes in Google Keep, you can search according to the label, oops, I like a type, and so it'll find everything that you've tagged uh, with, with that particular label. So we'll cancel that search. And you can add extra notes in your Google Doc if you need to. Now, the other cool thing that you can do, so we'll close, we'll close that. So I've got my text, I've done my editing, I've done what I need to do, but I want to use a uh, in-text citation for this bit of text that I've used. So I can come up to Tools, and I can write tools and then down to citations and I can add a citation. So, so you need to choose the type of one. They only give you three options there. So choose the one that you use or the one that's closest. I'll take this URL and I'll copy that and I'll come here to add citation source. I'm going to make it a website. The access for a website, but then I've got this search URL option here. So I can place it in and search. It gives me the information. You can check that. You can also cite manually if you want. I'll go continue. You can update any information that you need to for that citation. So it's semi-automatic. It's not fully automatic. And then I'll add the citation source. So that now appears as one of my sources of information. And then if I put my cursor at the end of this paragraph here, I want to cite that particular paragraph. I come with my citation sources open. I hover and you'll see the, the blue site here. So I'll click that. 
and that adds in the citation for you. If you've used a book, you'll give you the option to um, insert the page number as well. Now, the other really cool thing you can do is at the end of your research paper, so you would use a new page typically, and then I can go insert references and it creates my reference list for me automatically, which the students will need to be told to come and double check it and make sure it adheres to all of the conventions for your citations. So there you go. You can use Google Keep to gather all of your notes and to organize your notes, bring those very easily into Google Docs and do your editing and start creating your research paper, and then use the Google Doc citation tool to actually organize all the citations and your references for your work cited list. Uh, at the end of the day, please stop using EasyBib. Right? As always, if you've got any questions or concerns or you need some extra help, come and see me. We'll get you sorted out. Have a good one.